Hey, what's up? It's Lucas, and in today's video, I wanna talk about how to attract high-end, high-quality coaching clients. Quick disclaimer, I'm not talking about high-quality humans. I believe every human is high quality, is, is, is a person of importance, is a person of value. But when it comes to your business, we can think of our clients as there's high quality clients, high paying clients, clients who pay on time, clients who show up, clients who do the work, clients who are awesome and easy to work with and they don't, you know, build walls and, and reject your ideas, especially in a one-on-one -on -one setting, you don't want that happening because your business will turn into a job you hate. And then there's low quality clients, clients who don't want to pay you, don't see your worth, don't have the money, don't show up on time, don't value your time or their time as a matter of fact and that's what I'm talking about. Not the human being himself or herself because we are all on our own journey in our own phase and some people are just starting the journey, some are well on their way and there's everyone else in between. It doesn't make you better or less than. But in a business perspective, in your coaching business, it's very important to attract high quality clients, clients who want to pay you what you're worth, show up on time and well, do what you tell them or do what you invite them to doing or exploring. Easiest way, and this is the first thing I'm gonna say, is you will attract what you put out or how you see yourself, others will see you. Why I bring this up is most coaches undervalue themselves, undercharge, and they say, because they don't have the experience, that's BS most of the time. You have the experience, you have the story, even if you're just starting, there's no reason why you can't come out of the gate as a high value, high price coach. How you view yourself, it's, it's, it's a complete story narrative belief. If you are undercharging, we can make fancy excuses, well we just wanna serve everyone, or what about the people who can't afford it? You're just projecting your own insecurities and your own beliefs. I would much rather build a business where we charge a little bit more because we're really high value and we love our clients and we'll do whatever it takes to make them succeed and get results and we'll charge for it. And for everyone who might not be able to pay us where they're at right now or might not see the value yet or aren't ready to part with the money or have some scarcity mindset and beliefs, we create premium content like you're watching right now that people can consume and learn from for free. And we get paid to do it because we're getting paid in the core uh, you know, revenue streams and, and sales in our business so I can have a ton of time to create free content. I love that kind of business model and I'll, I'll stand behind a business model like that over a $97 product all day long. Anyways, because the second piece of attracting high value clients is your price. How are you positioned? How are you positioning the value and what are you pricing yourself at? If you're pricing yourself at 500 bucks a month or 300 bucks a month, you're gonna attract bottom of the barrel clients that are price shopping they will always be the most difficult clients. Now, not always, you'll have one or two that kind of restore your hope, be like, oh, they're amazing clients. Then the rest of them will just never show up and never do anything, and you're showing up for your one-on-one -on -one call and they're not there, or they're showing up late, or they want an extension on the payment, or they want to work out a deal, or they can't continue after two months because they can't. You don't want to attract that kind of energy into your business. The more you charge, the easier it is to sell. The fewer you have to sell and the easier it is to sell. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but it's true. Increase your price, make sure you can back it up by the value you deliver, how you present yourself, and you'll find that it's infinitely easier to sell. People don't even argue on the price. They're like, oh, 2,500 bucks a month, done, let's do it. 5,000 bucks a month, done, let's do it. And you only have to work with a few. You don't have to work with 30, 40, 50 clients who are all sucking your energy dry. So the fastest way is A, see yourself as a high value, high worth coach. Two, charge what you're worth. If you're gonna see yourself as a high value coach, you're gonna charge a higher value, a higher price point, so you can deliver more value for your clients. And finally, think about that VIP experience. How can you create something special, especially for your higher tiered program? You may have a $500 course, a $2,500 group coaching program, and then you may have a $75, a $10,000, a $15,000 one-on-one program, maybe a $5,000 VIP day. If you believe you're worth it, it's easy to create. Now, how can you create special perks? We all love, I don't care who you are, we all love the, the experience of walking into a store and getting treated special. Walking in and sitting in first class and getting treated special. Now if you're conscious, you understand that this is just a fleeting moment and hopefully you don't get lost in it and think that your value is tied to what you drive or where you sit on a plane, because it's not, but the experience is a pleasant experience. Staying in a five-star hotel and the way you're greeted is a pleasant experience. And we've all had that experience at some level. 
I didn't stay in a five-star hotel till I was in like 28 or 29 years old. I didn't even know what that was. He eventually got to experience that stuff and I was like, whoa, now I understand how a company or a brand can make you feel special by the little note, by the voice note, by that extra little touch that makes your clients feel special. For example, something we do with the one-on-ones is every morning we voice note. They voice note what they're grateful for, what their big domino, what their big rock is. I help them stay on point and they get a special little voice note to remind them of something important, to help them push through something. Just a little special special. They'll get access to a VIP email that only goes to me and it's only for clients so it's the first thing that I check once my morning routine and I've taken care of myself is the first thing I check. They'll get little perks of the way something is sent to them, the way something is delivered, the way they have priority in the calendar. Just tiny little touch points. What can you do to create small, tiny touch points to create something special and something unique, especially for your VIPs, to attract those who want that experience and they're willing to pay for it? Just because you may not want to experience that yourself, others want to. And so there's nothing, I try to limit that because I don't believe in being comfortable all of the time. And so I'm happy to stay in, in a simple hotel or a simple Airbnb or a small tiny home or even sleep in a tent while I travel because I like the experience of discomfort. If you always stay in five star hotels or you're always, you know, are just living luxury, you can easily lose yourself and lose what's actually important. But others like to experience more of it. And so if you're the type of person who's like, ah, I don't really like that experience, I'm good with what I have, A, maybe look at your stories and your beliefs if you're always like that, but also have a look at or understand that others love that VIP experience and you could be the person to deliver on it. So if you want high-end, high-quality clients, see yourself as high-quality because like attracts like. Charge more and create I'm gonna call it a VIP, a special experience, a special connection that's only for your VIP or your high-end clients that they can appreciate, fall in love with, and happily pay for over and over. Truly hope that helps. For anything else, check out lucasrubix.com. We've got the Online Coaching Academy. That's a free course to help you build the systems, lead generation, and sales systems for your online coaching business, whether you're just starting or you've been doing this a while and you want to systemize your lead generation and your sales. And if you want to dive deeper into learning how you can work with us, check out the Coaches University and check out our VIP one-on-one coaching program. It's by application only, so check it out. And if you feel like you're ready to take things to the next level, you're ready for accountability, you're ready for the step-by-step, -step. you're ready for a community, you're ready for, to build out the systems. The one message that I'm always sending out is a business is built on systems. Most coaches just build off social media and randomness and that's not a business, that's a hobby that pays you maybe a little bit. If we can create systems for your leads and your sales, you can build a predictable coaching business that creates revenue, that creates sales month after month. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link for the coaches you around here somewhere or just check out lucasrubix.com. Like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. So I don't know when this whole get a job, nine to five, play it safe, think small, and hopefully someday retire with enough time to maybe chase my dreams became okay, but for people like you and me, it's not. I'm Lucas Rubix, and welcome to The Coaching Channel, where I continue my mission of setting human beings free.